Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Taurus, let's do you your love reading. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also get my extended videos via my website, gentvtarot.com. Or if you want to join my channel. But honestly, it's cheaper to watch extended videos via Patreon. You decide. All right, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about love coming up? not let that in <laughs> so very strong very strong oh geez very strong feelings here i'm wearing my black obsidian you don't need to fondle me have i uh, so tight when i oh geez bottom of the deck in reverse that's a sadness a lot of sadness so this is what i'm feeling there's a, a feeling of Ooh, let's translate that emotion somebody's being treated very badly by someone they trust someone they love cruelty It's bitter, cruel behaviour. Doesn't have to be this way. That's that's what I'm feeling. All right, so this is the overall vibe of the reading. We've got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is this is very jealous, possessive behaviour. Je jealously, possessively holding on to something, even. is very fast very quick movement can be love can be travel mm. you know what i'm getting from this is uh are you are you gonna travel soon are you are you uh planning like a business trip or to travel for some reason and and Somebody doesn't want you to go. They don't like the idea of you going. They're trying to stop you from going. It's making you very sad. But there's a lot of bitterness around this relationship. You should fix things with us first. Instead of going. What about me when you're gone? What am I gonna do when you're gone? Don't you ever think about me? There's, there's a lot of that kind of energy. Tell me more. You should be working on me and our relationship. I think our relationship comes less into it. It's like, what about me? Me, me, me. What does this person do for you though? This is again work coming in though, but I, I have to go away for work. You know, there's been pandemic for two years. I need to kind of earn some money now. So I <laughs> gotta go away, gotta do some business. But what about us? What about me? Well, the reason that we're in this state that we're in is because we've been together all this time and I need to get away. <laughs> Maybe some space might help. <gasps> How could you? You're a terrible person for saying that to me. Oh man, you can't win. So uh, this is what you need to know right now. Hey 
strange ones. Pages are messengers. Tell me more. It's also, I, I see the page of wands as uh, someone having a wandering eye. Why is the page of wands here? I'm getting my throat chakras, like, hiccupy feeling, like... Something's not being communicated. So, there hasn't been communication. But this is what you need to know right now. So what is it? I'm feeling that more than seeing it in the cards. I, I, I said I, I'm feeling it, that there is been no communication with your Queen of Wands. This could be someone very important to you and not in a relationship. Like This could be your best friend. There's someone who's very important to you, but someone with this person is like, well, if you go and you leave and you're with them, then what about me? They might not even know about them. I don't know. But... feel like with this you're thinking about seeing this person your queen of wands and you don't know how you're gonna make it work this is someone who's really creative really beautiful or handsome um Communicative. And this is the best you can hope for. This is what's what's coming up. So I'm seeing that there is a triangle here, a love triangle. And it's it's a very unhappy one. Because I see that you're I'm not seeing that there's anything going on with you and this person. I think like with this as well, I sort of see like you're just sort of looking. And you're, and you're looking and you're, you're looking forward to it. This is part of your travels. I think that you're not traveling for a romantic reason. I think that you're traveling for work. We've got all the pentacles here to, to prove that to me, but um. You're looking forward to this, but you don't know. It's like looking forward to seeing someone, but you know, you're just gonna see them across the room. <laughs> and they, nothing could ha I can't talk to this person. If I talk to them, they'll find out. I can't ever see them or speak to them, but I might just maybe like a glance at them across the room. I won't be able to say hi, but maybe just seeing them's enough. Well, this this deck still. Tell me more. What do you, what does Taurus need to know right now? It's like you have something wonderful to offer this person, but there's no way you can do anything about it. You'll never be able to talk to them all. They're, wow, they're very amazing, this person. They make you nervous. You've been somebody's like lap dog type person before. You've you've run around after somebody before. You've you've been that. And you don't ever want to be that again. And you can that this person is very uh independent. Very secure, uh, luscious, sensual. Ooh, yeah. All of these things, it's, it's very intimidating.
tell me more. You're in a situation elsewhere. There's no way that this can be a thing. There's no way that you can You can glance at this person across the room. That's about as much as you can do. You're in trouble right now with the person that you're with. They don't want you to go. Possibly they might maybe know about this person. I don't know. What else Taurus needs to know right now? It's still about communication. What about communication? Communication is a surprise in, in the Page of Cups. Yeah. Um, oh, the devil reversed. The communication. I, uh, I, I kind of feel like this is distancing yourself. For, um, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is this other person. I, I don't feel like they've been in communication with you. They've distanced, they've cut cut the cords. I, I'm seeing like cord cutting rituals. They've cut cords between you. So you haven't heard from this person and you're really looking forward to seeing them because you haven't heard from them. It was like, no way you can do anything about it. You got this over here and, and it would be crazy, it's, you know. What's coming up in the near future? We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. This is more part of this love triangle here. It's waning is the word that's coming in. Waning. In the near future, something's waning. Somebody's not getting away with it anymore. This is not what I want anymore. Moving on. So it looks like in this love triangle that a decision is to be made. Like you're going to make a decision. There's a, a, a perhaps a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. type person maybe and, and I feel like you're moving away from that you're letting that go you're not dealing with this anymore you're moving on from it that could be either that's the thing that could be this is a homely type There's a, like a, a new cycle beginning in the near future. Happy one. Why is the Three of Cups here? This is the best you can hope for. Is it a painful love triangle with somebody, somebody who's quite cruel to you, somebody who does not treat you very well. It's a waning love and you're moving away from it. I see that. Again, uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, justice, so it could be a divorce. Um, it's the star reverse. This is, it's like that there is no hope for what was. It's a, it's a painful, cruel relationship that you're moving on from and you are. The past is behind you and this is these flags here are blocking the past and this is what you have to look forward to. Someone who loves you, someone who cares about you. This is the person you're looking across the room at. I don't think you're going to talk to them when you see them. I, I think that this is in the future. I think that... I sort of feel you... having to wait bide your time you kind of have to deal with all of this situation first 
I'm gonna wait and look before I leap. I'm not gonna, you know, throw myself in. Wee! I want something, so I'm gonna have it. You're not gonna do that. This is a waiting game. I can't pick the card up. I cut my nails this morning, so I can't pick anything up. It's a waiting game. I'm gonna read this now. This is the outcome. Again. It's like cycles ending, but this is a really great card. So whatever is ending, it's for the best. I'm going to read this now and I'm going to take it into the extended where I'm going to ask about these people in your life. Where are you in the heart space? Two people. There's a love triangle here. I'm going to ask about this love triangle. Where are you in their heart spaces? Plural. What they want to say to you, what their intentions towards you and some guidance from the universe. But let's read this. So why is the world here for the outcome? The world's a great card. It's beautiful. It's it's. It's like the the uh, the negative cycles in your life. I'm I'm struggling to get my words out. I have this feeling here of just not being able to speak, not being able to get your words out. That ending as well is it's just cycles closing and and someone who you worship, someone who's your freaking universe coming in. We've been waiting for you. Maybe they haven't been waiting. They, I, they've detached themselves from the situation. Why is the world here in the outcome? one door closing and another opening I guess but because you know you've got the world here so it's a cycle ending and a new one beginning but you know you've been through it mate and you've got your walls up very high you're very hesitant about starting anything new Because you're sad and you're unhappy, you... I sort of feel like... Something else is coming in, but there's there's still obstacles in the way. Old cycles are closing, the new ones are starting, but it's not gonna be like... Right, someone else jumping straight in and, and a new relationship happening straight away. It's, this is something that's... You know, you've you've got things to recover from, sadness to transmute. Got some healing to do, and you've got your walls up. You're you're hesitant. Anything else? That was the nine of swords, nine of wands in reverse. There is more to be revealed. This is a very special person. And I feel like any kind of rushing into anything with this person, I don't think that they would allow it. And I don't think that you should do it either. I think that this is somebody who's come to realize that time is of no consequence. It doesn't mean anything. So it doesn't happen this lifetime. Oh, well, maybe next one. If not, you know. Some, some time in forever it'll happen I kind of feel like that's their attitude they're very very spiritual person but there is more to be revealed I don't think you'll be leaving this lifetime with this person without without sorting a few things out guidance from the universe from the love angels heart-to-heart conversations like I said you're gonna at least deal with a few things before you leave this mortal coil with this person this is 
you might not end up together but you're gonna deal with some of the karma that you've got you're a very special person I sort of get that this is someone that you can be very much in love with and there never has to be anything intimate between you. And I, I, I'm seeing it from their point of view. They're okay with that. This, so we've got heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I think that they've done a lot of the talking here and you've done a lot of the listening. It's a, it's about time for you, because we've got unre... Hello. <laughs> I didn't remember this face. Hello. Oh, Ray. Hello. The door's open. What, what the window? Unrequited love. So this has come with this. So I think that they've done a lot of the talking and you've been like, I can't, I, I can't. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But, you know, this came in the reverse. I feel like they did a lot of the talking first and now you're going to do the hand kissing and they're going to do the listening. We've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right. One more for you. I'm not doing love lyrics today. So we've got prosperity lies ahead and adjustments are required I think adjustments are definitely required with this um oh, I can't I can just come through the door oh yes oh, it's so affectionate um I feel like You see unrequited love's coming up again I, I i don't think that it is i i i feel like that this is something that doesn't ever have to be romantic this is this is a, a an understanding that you have with somebody i see you having a conversation with them over like if it takes forever then i'll wait forever you know you know i might feel fill the void for a minute but if all we can be is friends, then that's acceptable. I can take that. That's that's the conversations that you're having with this person. If you end up with someone else, I'll be happy for you. If you don't and you want to be alone, I'll be happy for you. Whatever makes you happy. If you want to be with me, it's great. I'll be happy for you and for me. This person, uh, I think that this is an unconditional love. Uh, something you've never known before this has been a pretty cruel cycle that you've been through with this most recent person and uh, I don't see you rushing anytime soon into another relationship even if you are in love with this person I don't think you'll feel the need to it is what it is it's, that's the kind of the feeling that I'm getting here it is what it is it isn't what it isn't, and that's fine. It's very, it's very, uh, very modern. It's very grown up, though. It's very, uh, I don't know. I like it. Interesting. Anyway, if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. Uh, you'll you'll find a link there. See you later.